things off with North Korea, voted Korea of the Year by North Korea magazine for the past three decades. <laughs> a few years ago, most people thought the only way the world was gonna end was if North Korea's marshmallow dictator decided to kick off a nuclear apocalypse. But since then, we've all learned that there are actually many ways the world could end. It could be a global pandemic, it could be Russia starting a world war, it could be Apple letting you edit iMessages. I didn't say that. So obviously, people haven't been paying as much attention to North Korea lately, which is probably why Kim Jong-un has decided to remind us that he still exists. We're gonna turn to North Korea launching a new round of missile tests, the regime firing off eight rockets over the weekend in the U.S. and South Korea launching missiles in response in a show of force. The U.S. and South Korea sent eight surface-to-surface -surface missiles into the sea. That's after North Korea did the same just hours earlier. There is no direct communication that we know of between the Biden administration and the North Korean regime. So instead, both sides seem to be communicating through missile launches. Huh. The U.S. and North Korea are communicating using missile launches? That's adorable. <laughs> it really is. It's so different. Missile, missile. You up? Missile, missile. <laughs> nuh -uh. No, for real, it actually sounds like a couple that really needs therapy, you know? It's just like, and what do you do when she shuts you out? I launch missiles. <laughs> and what are we supposed to do? Talk to the UN. <laughs> you know, people say that black people and white people can't get along, but I don't know what hope there is in the world if North and South Korea can't even get along. Yeah, they're both Korean, looking at the other one like, these <laughs> Koreans, man! <laughs> And you know who I feel really bad for? Those missiles. Yeah, the missiles that were shot into the ocean. Because think about it. They think they have a specific purpose to blow up in glorious combat, but then they just end up being used for a show. It must hurt their feelings. <laughs> it's like being a condom that gets put on a banana for sex ed class. <laughs> I was meant for greater things, damn it! <laughs> no, but joking aside, though, joking aside, I want to be serious for a moment here. Because let me get this straight. North Korea and South Korea and the United States are now launching missile after missile into the ocean, but I'm not allowed to use plastic straws? Huh? <laughs> Is that right? Is that right? I'm out here trying to do my part using a straw that dissolves the second I put it into my drink. <laughs> the second I put it in. <laughs> it's gone. I don't even know what I'm drinking any. What are you having, Trevor? Oh, a tequila paper mache. <laughs> yeah, I saved the turtle, the one that got shot by a ballistic missile. <laughs> I mean, what does the ocean have to do with our beef, huh? Those creatures are down there just trying to live their lives. They don't need to deal with missiles from human conflicts. Can you imagine what it's like for them? Ariel, life is better under the sea. <laughs> We roll in the waves. The fish swim in the seaweed. We're... Ah! Ah! Oh, no! Oh, no! Everybody's dead. Everybody's dead! The fish are all dead under the sea. Ariel don't got no legs or a head. And the worst part is having my accent makes me sound jolly even when I'm not. This is where I wish I was from Germany. This accent doesn't convey the tragedy of this terrible crime that's happened under the sea.